illallah. Wallahi. That's it. That's all. I don't know any one of you brothers. I don't know any of you sisters. But I love you all for the sake of Allah. And that was my journey to Islam. Alhamdulillah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wow. MashaAllah. <laughs> and Brother Mus'ab. Din to Islam kusudu kuso galay iya safar ki dera wa Aw ma'ara ta Mus'ab. Nogday. Marku kaha la yarta wa tarikh ajiba ayu kasha kei wa qof ki iman kusugani hai Wuliba maanta aadi aad duha unjalaan laha Gopta naata aafadina ina maanta dan yara uban naan laha yin Siya wudi ga istan walalkin waha wukaha lai And wuhu shagay in uku koray nolashi sodan and magaladan St. Paul And minyaplus haya hadda jogna lakin magaladan St. Paul in uku koray Nolal adak in uku koray and of the Lingara or Haladad, but then some me or aha and Hushagi Dutka into Badan and Muduga American Kukore, a Makuda Shay into the Badan in a Dinta Messiah, a Christian Kahistan, Poiski Sumarka, and in a high end and Marte Dinta Messiah, Pois Haista, Marka Uhuri Haladada, some me, the Radet. وعلى حري وحنا مركي لحري إنتو سجعي محكمته دم بيجو قالنا وحوها دم بي إن دولة الفدرال كا دم بيدا منا ومدا مقالد كجشو مدا ومدا دك مدا كجشو منا ودولة الفدرال كا مركي دم بيجو حو دولة الفدرال كا أه ووقت بدن حبس لودرة أيان قال يوري مركا جل كدك مدا إنتو كحرنا Hoyri walulki hai segala tuan sana nawan juru dah kau segala tuan sana jira orang yang rawai ayu aha walulki hai and oleh sebab dan misan kisi and uatobi walul badan segala wosak mai mereka kau muslima atau mesu kod hernain ayam merkod darai mai walulka hai ayu di bawah tak kamu kata walulka yang kadal yang rada ayu hoyri mat matukatit madilah matukatit كحيرو وانت كذا نحن نوت كذا بير مارتي جيسس يعيسا أيان مارك بريا قوادين تكلي يوم مركز يقع أنا لغو لغو أبوي لغو كوري مركا عيري نينكا حبسك على سكول جرنا إيمونا دهين إيمونا دين ت إسلام كسوق الإيمون دهين وعي درنا إيمونا جلين مالي ركوبان أيو يقطو سيوف عيري ما ستوس أح أدوق إلهي أبرددت أو إلهي أتكت تدوير هذه لا يقف كلي من الدين دحين ستوس أح سد سحدة أح إلهي لابريو لوجت كذا أيام كتوسيا عديقة إلهي كليا ما أرتي دعادس بري صلاة سمي إلهي بري مركو حيري أنا وحبك أقونين أو مسلم نقونين أي أنت وتوسيا أيام سمي غير مالن تاس لقب لا بنا كما أن خسارن أيوري دعاء دي إلهي وياك بلا أيوري إن شن الله وطن صنع يكبرن أيام فيلي محكمة دون يروح كنت أيوري أفر صنع يا اللي يروح كم أيوري إن حبس جمر كان قلي وهذا عدي أيوري هذا ندم بي أنا سمينين أيام ماذا حل إيساروير الحين قط مركا إن قل جار أهمش دتك دم بيدا قال أما دجال كبدنا أما رب كبدنا أفري الله بتنسى عدد ميل كجيران وبنان كبا إن أركن قل كاس أيالي جي أيور هذا أنا وحير إلهي أيام بري دم بي أنا سمينين ثمان سنة أو خلا أيام مركز هذا أنا ودراد أيام لوجدر لها ولول كي عليس يفكر كي مركي أيو أدي يقول بتن وحير إلهي أيام بري أيوير ماشى سوحي هاد مدشان شام بلاد أما أفر بلاد أينا كسيجرو محكمة ده أوجو هريسة أفر بلاد أما شان شام شام بلاد كدب أيام محكمة ده بلان تيدو هاي دويري مركان إلهي بري هبين كيرنا سوجي دي إلهي بري أيوري أيام واحد عادي سبحين الباب أنت ليوي ما تقول كي حبسك عن كجري محكمة ده أيام ليه هاي هاي ليوير محكمة نزوم أيها هاي، and 
marka ninkii xakimka ah ayaa waxa uu weydiiyay ee dambigan ma sameeyso qorshay ugu wuxuu ahaa inaan qirto dambi aanu aan sameeynin khalad aan sameeynin inaan qirto ayuu ahaa laakiin ninkii xakimka ahaa ayaa wuxu yiri marka cadeymaha meesha yaala li hor li soo hor dhigay aan arkay waxaan arkay inaadan dambigan adigu aan sameeynin ee dambigan ma aadan gelin saacada ka dibna qolkii afraatan ka saac ku xirna waa laga soo saaraya ayuu yiri tobankii sano ee dheerad ka ahaa uu ka baqay in madax loo geliyana meesha ay ku baabaay farxad aan farxay wuxuu yiri qofkii uu horeeyay muslim ayaan arkay wiil cali la dhaho ayaan isku duubay ayuu yiri marka diinta islaamka oo shahaada waxa ay qabtay walaal cabdirxamaan la yiraado ayuu yiri oo diinta ay baray cabdirxamaan markaan u sheegay qisadeedi uu oo uu ilmeeyay yiri sababtoo ah waqtiga aan ilaahay baryay salaa taajudka waqtiga la tukada ay ahayd ayuu yiri waxba kama aqoonin marka wuxuu yiri maalinta aan diinta islaamka qaatay farxad iyo nabad mooy wax kale oo kala kulmay ilaa hadda malaha ayuu yiri noloshayda dhan ayaa is beddeshay iimaankayga ayaa sugmay marka wuxuu yiri ilaa hadda qalbigayga deganaanshahaas iyo diintaas markan aan muslimay shahaada aan qaatay iyo sidii la isoo dhaweey dhamaantay wuxuu yiri dadka meesha jooga hal qof oo naqaana malaha laakiin waxaas ku kaa keena ayuu yiri la ilaaha illallah muhammad rasuulullah shahaada marka diinta macaankeeda waana wax la rabo dhalinyaradeena caruurteenu iyo dad waaweyn oo maarta anaga naga mid ah waxa jira iimaankooda saas u sugnayn aan darnaysanayn marka insha Allah sheeg ka dheer ayay ahayd laakiin intaas ayaan ku soo koobaya thank you brother i tried my best to summarize your journey okay hadda waxaan ku soo dhaweynaya isaguna ee dhankayga bidix fadhiya brother abu bakar smith brother bakar الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعليه وأصحابه أجمعين أما بعد السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. before before I do this little short talk I won't take too long maybe just a few minutes I was only aware of this gathering just a few days ago I didn't know this gathering was going to go I just want to ask Allah سبحانه وتعالى to Bless those who are responsible for this event, those who took upon themselves to, rather they paid money or rather they bought food, or the biggest thing, just having the thoughts, just having the uh, fikrah to, about this uh, very important gathering. So I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to give them good in this dunya and also in the afterlife. And I also ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to bless all the Muslims that's here, that came, and all the Muslims around the whole world. So, like I said, uh, I was just asked a couple of days ago to talk about uh, mainly the hardships and the difficulties that uh, the new Muslims are face, uh, particularly in this country because uh, maybe it's different in different areas. And I've been Muslim, alhamdulillah, for 12 years now. And everybody has different problems. Everybody has their own problems uh, coming into Islam. But So these problems I will address will be it's just something that I faced in my life earlier, or you know, when I first became Muslim. Still to this, still to this day, there's problems and something that I see, but I can't cover everything. But uh, amongst the biggest things, I would say is, uh, of course, you will be isolated from your family. So, uh, so you know, the people who are not Muslim, they don't like Islam. Uh, particularly in this country, the people they don't like Islam. They have, uh, even if they see you at work and they smile in your face. That's just something that people do. But how do they feel about Islam? They hate it. So it makes no difference if that's coming from your family. So many of the times is the family, they will not talk to you anymore. You don't have a family. You're by yourself. You're in isolation, and which is very difficult to be by yourself, to have nobody to check on you, to care on you. Maybe if you die, nobody will know. So some people, Many people I meet, it's not, it's not just me, many people I meet, their family, they don't, they don't talk to them no more, their brothers, their sisters, and whoever it may be. Sometimes you, even your own parents, there's people who I've heard of who haven't talked to their parents in 10 years, 15 years, it's still to this day, their parents died and they never talked to them again. Why? Because they embraced Islam. And then you might have those who the, the parents will accept the Islam, but they will treat them differently. So the biggest thing is the person, he loses his family a lot of the time. You lose friends, but losing family is harder. So you're by yourself. And then what happens is what I'm seeing many of the times, unfortunately, 
is um, a lot of the times a person, after he loses his family and he's by himself, he, he goes to the masjid because he's Muslim, alhamdulillah, he has to pray. He has to pray the Salatul uh, Jama'ah and he has to be with the Muslims. But what usually happens is when the person goes to the masjid, uh, nobody really talks to him and nobody welcomes him. So he sits by himself all of the time. And he doesn't feel like he's a part of anything. He's not a Christian anymore or wherever he came from. And he's Muslim, but he doesn't, uh, the Muslims don't treat him how they treat uh, other Muslims. So it's not easy for a person to already lose your family and then you go into the masjid and nobody talks to you or gives you salam. And what have I seen when I lived in California was uh, somebody did embrace Islam the first day of Ramadan. This is many years back. And he was very happy. He was f coming every single day. He came to the masjid to pray and to have iftar. And he was happy. We taught him to pray. And then we left this masjid, me and my friends, because we're not from the area. So when we come back, they told us, we said, what happened to, what's his name? And they said, well, when you guys left, nobody talked to him. He... He just came and he sat by himself and nobody talked to him at all. So we go to where he lived and we ask him, his family, is he home? And every single time they said he's not home. So many times we asked, I don't remember how many times, five times, six, seven, eight times, they always said he's not home to the point came, they said he's not Muslim anymore, so please stop uh, bothering us, stop coming by and visiting him. So he left Islam. Nobody was talking to him. He sat in the masjid by himself. And nobody ever talked to him. Another brother, he, you know, you eat uh, Ramadan, two people to a place sometimes. Some people don't and some people do. But everybody sitting two to a plate and this brother, they left him by himself. Nobody wanted to sit with him. So he ate by himself even to where three people would sit at one plate. And uh, nobody salam or nothing. He's sitting by himself. No one's talking to him. And he's... Uh, in reality, like the, like the brother said, even though we are from this country, we might feel like guests. We feel more like guests because we're not part of their community. So when we come here, we know we are Muslim. But he's left, he's left by himself. And he said, when we talked to him, he said, I felt like all of, all of them are racist. Muslims, he said, I feel like they're racist. So this is the biggest problem is to be left in isolation. Uh, a Muslim... He needs to have Muslim friends. He needs Muslims uh, to have friends who are Muslim. Because Rasulullah said, meaning in the hadith that a person here is upon the deen of his close friends. He's upon the deen of his close friends. His deen is not just uh, what the person he believes in, in his mind, but it's, it's a complete way of life. So what happens if a uh, new Muslim, if he doesn't have friends who are Muslim, then he might still have some of his old friends. And who is his old friends? They're not going to respect Islam. So what are they going to do? They're going to drink around him. Because that's what the majority of the people in America, what we used to do, we used to love to drink and smoke and do everything that's haram. So if a person doesn't have Muslim friends, he's going to take his old friends. And it's only a matter of time before... Who, will he leave Islam? I don't know. But he will drink, because they drink. He will smoke, because they smoke. And will he pray? He will not pray, because they're not praying. Do you, they're not going to wait for him. Okay, go pray Salat al or go pray Salat al-Asr, and then we'll wait for you. They're not going to wait, so he's not going to pray. So the best thing that the Muslims can do is to be friends, a sincere friend, and care about this person, and know that he, he's by himself most of the time. We don't, me, I don't have any other Muslims in my family. I'm the only Muslim, alhamdulillah. So a person, he's by himself, he needs um, a community, he needs people to be his brother, and then of course the sisters, they need sisters, it's very important. So the best thing a person could do is be his friend and then care, to actually care about this person. Another uh, issue would be that there's nobody to teach them. The new Muslim, when I first became Muslim, alhamdulillah, three years I didn't know any Muslims, I became Muslim. And uh, I wasn't in the environment of Muslims. There was no Muslims there. But for three years of me becoming Muslim, I, I just believed in Allah, but I didn't practice the religion because I didn't know anything about the religion. And today, there's, an, uh, there's a community here, alhamdulillah, but at the same time, the, a lot of the new verse, they don't know the basics of the religion. They don't know the very basics of the religion. They don't know how to pray. Some people, they know how to pray. They can do the ruku', the sujood, they can do this. However, this is not the whole prayer. You have to say the Fatiha. So many Muslims were meeting 
the Muslim one year, five years, ten years, twenty years, and they can't recite Surah Al-Fatiha. And the ones that can recite Surah Al-Fatiha, then what happens is they don't know the Shahud. There's so many things, so they're not. They're going ten years, fifteen years without uh, knowing how to pray, and nobody really asks them. Like, yeah, you have to ask them. Maybe they don't know, and they're too shy to ask you. So it's, it's nice if. You approach them and do you need any help to learn how to read the Quran? It's not just good for them, it's good for you too. So it's to the point that people, I meet new Muslims and they send me videos uh, like a Shia, Shia videos and they don't even know the difference. And they send me videos with music in it and all types of stuff. How would they know? We wouldn't know unless we learn. You can't, there's no amal without ilm. So you have to learn the deen. And, uh, so many, so many people they believe in, because a common thing we used to believe, you know, when your family dies, your parents die, that uh, you ask them, you call upon them to help you. And this is to take somebody outside the fold of Islam. So people, the new Muslims, many of them, not all of them, but many times they don't know the basics of the religion. So they need some people to care about them and to teach them the religion. So this will be the... Uh, this will be the most important things uh, that you can help a new Muslim with is just basically being his friend, being there for him, and helping him learn the religion. And if you can't help somebody learn the religion, then you have to learn the religion yourself. You need to, uh, we can't uh, go our whole life not knowing the religion. The only way to uh, practice religion is to learn the religion. So help them learn the religion. If you can't help them learn the religion, take them to where they can. You might only be able to help them with the Surah Al-Fatiha or some coming dhikr, going to the bathroom, coming out the bathroom, coming in the masjid, going out the masjid. So, yeah, in reality, for the for a lot of people, the Muslims, they go, we go through a lot of hardships just uh, being by ourselves. But alhamdulillah, I met very good brothers everywhere I go. Uh, I move a lot from place to place and everywhere I go, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he's put me in a Good places to meet good brothers, but uh, it's, not, it's not the same for everybody. And something else that is going on is the sisters. A lot of this, I don't know if it's true, but it seems like the brothers is more warm to the brothers coming into Islam, and you're more likely to find somebody who will help you. But uh, women are also embracing Islam, and uh, I, don't, I don't know if they're receiving the same welcome, but they also need, just like the brothers, they will need uh, sisters to be there for them and to help them and nurture them and give them tarbiya upon Islam and help them learn the religion and care about them and be there for them. So the brothers, they need brothers and the sisters, they need sisters. So that's, that's just the way it has to go. And then um, there's so many uh, problems, but these are the biggest uh, problems. So if you can't do anything else, then uh, at least be the friend and check up on them and give them salams, even this, and know the name. Salam ya Jibril, salam alaikum ya Jibril, salam alaikum ya Abdullah. This will help a lot just to say hello, but uh, sometimes I'm seeing many times that nobody will talk to them. And this is, uh, it's not a good, it's not good a feeling for the person. He will not feel good in his heart if he doesn't have family, he doesn't have friends. And now I come to the masjid and I'm by myself here also. So this is how you can help by being a friend more than anything else. And the last issue I will talk about is something that uh, it's not just particular to the new Muslims. However, it's for every... It's for all Muslims, because we all have problems here in, in America and in the whole world. It's 2023. The fitna becomes more and more. The fitna is becoming more and more. So I just w I have to tell you all this, and it's very important. You know, when I'm living in California, what I've seen. When I, uh, I used to always wear my thobe when I go to the kulia, uh, I mean to the uh, college. For whatever reason, I just feel like I love to wear my thobe. <laughs> and plus, I want everyone to know I'm Muslim. I have a lot of tattoos, so people think I'm not Muslim. I hate for somebody to think I'm not a Muslim. So I show them, like, I'm always wearing, whatever. <laughs> Alhamdulillah. So I used to always wear my thobe. So people, they know I'm Muslim, they come to me. And what did I see? I'll just share with you three occasions. One time I'm going to the square, it was raining. And um, some lady, she didn't have hijab. She said, are you Muslim? Of course I'm Muslim. I have on the uh, qamis. I said, yeah, she let, let me tell you why I'm not. Anymore. anymore. And then she started talking about why she's not Muslim. It's raining, I had to go to class. I said, oh, you know, you forget about Allah. Allah made you forget yourself. And she said, you're right. Uh, maybe I should have stayed talking, but I left. I had to go to school. Another one, there was uh, some lady, she came to me, sat next to me in the uh, library. She didn't have on any hijab. And she said, uh, do I know her father? Because I used to go to the masjid, uh, where her father used to go to. Who was her father? 
Her father was the one who used to give talk, a certain talk in his language. I don't want to mention no uh, particular countries. It's from every country. It's from y'all's country in every country. And she said, yeah, I know him. He, the people, he gives tafsir after dhur, and the people listen to him. And he said, the people told me he's almost like Alam where he's from. Close. She told me, I don't like religion. Uh, don't tell my father, but I don't like religion. So she left Islam, and her father doesn't know. Another time I'm in the school and another person, he comes and talks to me and he says uh, something about being Muslim. And he's, what did he say? He said that, uh, wallahi, this is what he said. My parents are very good Muslims. I still go to the, they don't know I'm not Muslim anymore. I'm not a Muslim anymore. I still go to Salatul Jama, Salatul Juma with my father. I still go with him. And he doesn't know. So why do I tell you this, is that the, the kids are leaving Islam. And they're, they're scared to tell you. They won't tell you that they left Islam. There is a lot of people leaving Islam. And they, you won't know. They will come to you and pray in the masjid. And so many things. They're scared to tell you all. Don't think it can't happen to you. It can't happen to you. It can't happen to y'all's kids. And it does. So you have to also care about all Muslims and care about your kids. And, Wallahi, the biggest, the biggest problem in this country would be putting these kids in the public school. The public school is ruining, is just ruining the, the kids' iman. I've seen kids where I used to live, we had people come from every country. Somalia, Ethiopia, Sudan, Uzbekistan, Syria, Iraq. Every time they come from their country, they, they have good manners, very good manners. Only one year it takes. Only one year it takes and they're ruined. They're not, they, they don't look any different than the non-Muslim in the way they talk, in the way they dress, in the way they act, in the meshit, out the meshit. So I just wanted to bring y'all's awareness to that, that there's a problem for all Muslims. And be careful about y'all's kids. And I'll just end with that. Subhanakallahumma bihamdik ashallah ilha anta astaghfiru wa atu wa ilayhi. And, mashallah, and walakin Abu Bakr, who kahali arkalada ha i dibatun ko ugu badan harta. E kapsada dat ko marke i sam Musliman dinti na ka sabahan. Waha ugu badan ushega waha we in a kilgo nukdan walit ki i koiske ka dasher marke i. دينتي يا حسين كبحين إسلام النقضان دينت ما رت إسلام كان يقاتان إن العيريو أنا نالله اللي كل جودين النقضان تاسو حاوس دير في المساجد كي مركة تماتو ما دام أتقف عصب دينت كعصبات هاي إن قف له الله أما سلامة إن يسنجرين إنتوا إذا بدنا يجوا مساجد كجوا حتى يجوني علا كويهين وهلاعن مركب وحاول ودر أن نحيي رأي ذيك الدين تك صاب حي دتك دتك هو جوحي جي والد كا يقيس كا جي أي ما عرفتي كا جوستن مساجد كي دتك مسلم كي أصور حق الشنا أي نسلان تك قادين أما يكسر دوينين مساجد كم ركب صلاة أو تبات حتى كل جا عاد أهانة يسوع عاد صار أو سقاطي and will دين مسلم كا أنتو ما عرفتي إسلام دين إسلام كتصور قلي مسلم نقضي بشر رمضان مركب قفل حلا وعي أصدر وعي إنه دينتي ما عرفتي وكبحي وحكى لوش يجي بالرمضان ما دام يتعي مركب لا أفرع مع أن طلعوا نا يلا بلا وقف أيا لا أفرع يويري مركب إن ولا سو الدين تكعسبا أو مركب صوم مسلمي وحويري مركب قاركود دتك مساجد كجوجي لا والله ويا جالس كلا فري سنة يا، and صدق صدق أي هو أفرع يان، إسمه كليجيس أيوه حق قفل فري سنة يا ملا أفرع يا ملا، مركب وحود رأي محتا إن مذا ما أرتي and تكور أيوه هي بسع إن لو قصم هنا يو أيوه أركي، أو نعيب كلا أوجره، مركب عيري and نحرس الدين تدارت ضد كوا حقو في عنا قصم من كرت صلان تا يسوع دوين تا. مساجد كمركي ما دان دين تمرك سوقلان صوبتوا دتك يقانين أصحاب تودي حتى يقانين ويكجوين دتك ما عرفت فرنس كلا هين هذا كل نقطة نوحو يري دتك ما دام عين مسلم هين أو خمري عبان أو ما عرفت مندوري استعمالان 
salaadi ina tu kanin en oo ku duufsanayna yiruuhi baadi baagu naqanaysa en marka arkalada ugu badan arta waa wehel antas iyo soo dhawinta sanaa la soo dhawinaynin dibaatooyin badan ayu ka halay lakin waharba en ina ku soo kabo huuri dibaatada musliminta haysata ma aha kuwaan ku asub dinta Islam ka kiliya ma aha. Daman musliminta wadan kan dagan oo dan ayya haysata. Wuhu yiri dadka en gala da ah majjalu yiri dinta Islam ka. Hadeh ta ku khuslayan en naib ayya ku jiru dahi. Oga da tas. En taas waxaw su da ruhu yiri tusala xu so qaati. Waxaan ka osadin madama anaga walid anna hay dalin yara badan anna lehna hay ilmihe na waxaan anquiri waxaad haadaad ka hal karto arqalada ha dalin yara da hay isti guda haani waxaad arqto qofka murku diintu ku usubi haa amma naqan u ku usubi hay waxaya badan o anaga anna arkin aya jira murku uxu yiri waxaya badan o wal diinta iya dadka muslim ka karsoon aya jiru yiri en jamaada haa jamaada markaan digane marwa ba madama muslim hay tatu badan anna lehna hay khamis keg ayaan marwa ba xirta ayu yiri marka gawar aya isalaantay مدام خميس حرة واحد ترى مسلمة مياتها هابان كوير واحد ترى الدين تي وانا عيوان كبح إن كلاس ونص عدودة روب أي داء أي وقت بدل ما أنا قلين إن أنا أقعد صوبته وقعد بحذي سو كلا ويل أبيه ومساجد ك محاضرة مرة بكجي ديو أو إيش هاي والد كسينا يهين دت ما أرت الدين تكون أكسن المسلمين وأنا أكسن يهين أي واحد إيش هاي إنه الدين تكبح لكن واحد يري دين تمام كبح والد كيو مش شايقين لكن صلاة الجمعة هنا بهرة على تو كذا